Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. And today, Apple releases iOS 17.1 RC update that is about 6.21 GB. And this update is full of many different features that we are going to discuss in this video. But before that, if you want to install RC update, I'm going to tell you how what things you need to do and how you can install this update. For the very first thing, you need to go to the beta.apple.com website over here you need to sign up for the beta program once you sign up for the beta program what you need to do is go to your settings after going to settings go to general go to software update and wait for a while until the a beta profile option came out or beta update option came out go to over here and select ios 17 developer beta or ios 17 public beta once you select this option go back and you will see the new update this is how you can install OS 17.1 RC update on your iPhone. This update is supporting iPhone 10s going to the, the latest iPhone. Now let's talk about what is new in this update. Tons of different features are there. So very first thing is with the airdrop. Content continues to transfer over the internet when you step out of airdrop range. Now this means that if you are using airdrop and you're out of range, it will use your cellular data to transfer the all data. That is really cool. The next feature is related to standby. New options to control when the display turns off available starting from the iPhone 14 to the latest iPhone. It gives you more control over, over your standby mode. It is also available with the iOS 17.1 RC. Now there are a couple of changes in the music application. Favorites expanded to include songs, albums, and playlists, and you can filter to display your favorite in the library. Now the love button is now favorite button. Let me show you the new favorite button. This is how the new favorite button is. Before it was love, and now it is favorite shown as a star. This is really cool. It also gives different song suggestions in your playlist. This is also really cool and much better way to use a music application. Now this update also includes the following improvements and bug fixes. So here are some of the improvements and bug fixes that are been done in the iOS 17.1 RC update. Option to choose a specific album to use the photo shuffle on the lock screen is also available. A home key support for meta locks is also available. Improve reliability of screen time the setting syncing across devices is also available. Fixes an issue that may cause significant location privacy setting to reset when transferring an Apple Watch or painting it for the first time. Resolves an issue where the names of incoming callers may not appear when you are on another call. This is also resolved. Addresses an issue where custom and purchase ringtones may not appear as options for your text tone. This is also resolved. Fixes an issue that may cause the keyboard to be less responsive. Crash, crash detection optimization is also been done starting from the iPhone 15, iPhone 14 to the iPhone 15. Fixed an issue that may cause display image persistent. So, so many bugs are fixes and couple of features are also there. Now, there are some of the other more UI changes in the iOS 17.1 RC update. With the iOS 17.1 beta, all the new ringtones were removed because it was patched before the actual iOS 17 update. But with the beta 2, all ringtones, all new ringtones are back once again. And those all new ringtones are also available with the iOS 17.1 RC update. Now, this is the feature. This is the reachability feature where it makes easy to, you know, control your iPhone just with the one hand. As you can see, this area is blurred. Now with the iOS 17.1 RC update, the background is black, which is kind of weird to me. Honestly, I like the blur version much better. It also fixes the radiation issues with the iPhone 12, which was done in the beta 3, where lots of people were facing radiation issues in, the, uh, in France while using iPhone 12, and iPhone 12 was banned over there. With the iOS 17.1 beta 3, that issue has been resolved and this is also available with the iOS 17.1 RC update. Now, these are all the things with the iOS 17.1 RC update. I'm definitely going to dig into the software and if I found any new thing, I'm definitely share with you guys in my upcoming videos. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel 
and are you going to use ios 17.1 rc or you are going to be on the stable version let me know in the comment section below now when the actual ios 17.1 is coming i think the way apple is going on is on the weekly basis so i believe that ios 17.1 will be coming around on 24 of um, october if there will be any other bugs if there are going to be any other bugs we might see rc update too but i think this is going to be the final update let's see i will let you know people on twitter and over here with my videos so make sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out